Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for September 16th through September 30th, uh, 2019. Welcome back subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new. Uh, real quick, I apologize for the terrible sound in my last set of videos. So sorry for that. It won't be an issue again. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, the link is below. All the information is there. You'll book directly through my website. And for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, which I'm very, very grateful for. Uh, you'll see the link below, all the information, and uh, you'll also see a great 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, and the link is for Instant Go as well if you just have a single question. So that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for September 16th through the 30th. I've already fully shuffled, so I'm just going to do a couple here and we will get straight into your reading. Let's see what we've got going on. Capricorn in love. Okay, first off, we are starting out with the Queen of Swords. I do feel this is someone that you're dealing with. I don't feel your energy on here, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with an air sign, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or someone with um, a lot of air in their chart, or that just can speak really clearly, truthfully, um, honestly. Queen of Swords also brings an energy of second chances. So I don't know if you maybe are going through different cycles with this Queen of Swords energy. Um, keep in mind, it is a general reading, so nothing's gender specific and things can go either way. Okay, this can be about you or someone that you're dealing with. But I do feel, okay, so the Queen of Swords here is facing the Eight of Swords. So I almost feel like whoever you've been dealing with Capricorn is in a way like being forced to face what they have been not willing or wanting to see about themselves, about you, about the relationship. Um, there's some information that has been like just bound up and blocked. I do feel the second chance coming through is allowing this to lift and allowing the truth to come out, right? The truth being like the authentic message, the authenticity of the soul, okay? And if this has been a situation with someone you've been dealing with, this could have been going on for a long time. Maybe you've been trying to help your partner see certain characteristics about themselves that they were not willing to see on their own, you know, something like that. And the next card I do have the three of wands. So I feel whatever is lifting here is really moving you forward in um, a position to take action steps. Okay, to me, three of wands is about action, taking steps, making decisions, choosing what you need to do to get from A to B or wherever you're going, and really being open to those opportunities showing up so that you can move through and with that energy. So let me see what else we've got here. Okay, so with this other person or with whatever lifting in this situation, I do feel this is most likely with a relationship because I am asking about love for you guys. Um, there is going to be some resistance and past pain that's going to be triggered. That usually happens when you start to take action steps forward, right? Because then it gets real of what you're actually clearing and letting go. So just be aware of this. I don't think this is something you really need to worry too much about. I feel more so just be aware. The resistance that pops up is a sign of momentum, right? Because anytime we're moving forward or growing, we're going to feel the pushback and the resistance. So the resistance is actually a positive thing if you can really remember to see it and view it that way. 
because you're moving past hurt and pain and previous uh, words or trauma or whatever it is in, within this relationship. I do feel within this relationship, there's a lot of letting go of the past. Maybe both of you have been guilty of bringing things up about the past when really it just needs to be left in the past. So that resistance of wanting to fall back into those old patterns of bringing up, well, you did this, you know, at this time, or you did this, or this is, you know, why I'm feeling this way. It's like really getting to a place where you can clear the slate, let all of this type of energy go so that the wishes can be fulfilled within the relationship here. Okay, nine of cups. Wishes fulfilled. Also, I always see this card as like emotional maturity. So you and your partner will be growing in, um, I feel like, a different way than you have before. Okay? If you are just meeting somebody or this Queen of Swords is somebody new coming in for you, just know that if it is you know, representing this person, they are going to test you, Capricorn. You are going to be tested, okay? I feel that for sure. But how you handle the test is really where your power is going to be, okay? So seeing that where you get triggered or where you get bothered by specific actions or words or things that are said, that's your responsibility to look in your past of where that's coming from and realize it's not actually this current person. It's past stuff being projected, so you're in a place of power to really do that. And I feel with the emotional maturity here, it's going to help you bring your wishes fulfilled and move forward in this relationship, which is what you want. So good job on that because you are going to be tested. You are going to be tested. Okay, beautiful. So after the nine of cups, we've got the nine of pentacles. So I feel almost this can represent you and your partner. I think these little tests in this time of growth is really bringing you both into a position of being fully independent and self-sufficient within yourself and being in the relationship. So it's not like losing yourself in the relationship or having codependent tendencies that can be passed up so if there's been codependent type behaviors maybe that's what you're clearing and letting go because that can't happen in healthy relationships so I do feel this is showing each of you getting to a place of stability within yourself security within yourself feeling independent having healthy boundaries you know keeping yourself strong and solid while being in the relationship. I mean, that's where like true love and true partnership can really thrive is when you're both being responsible and taking care of your own stuff um, and maintaining, you know, healthy communication. And then the last two cards, I've got King of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. So Capricorn, I feel this is you and your partner. A beautiful balance of passion, stability, uh, again, both mature energies. I feel a lot of maturity here around the King of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands. So it actually feels quite stable and solid, um, which I think is really positive because letting go, if you look at some of the earlier energies from this reading, I mean, look at this. It's really hard to have a solid relationship when this is possibly going on inside your heart, your mind, or your partner's heart, or your partner's mind. There's a lot of blocks, a lot of resistance. So I do feel, you know, that that's been grown, grown past, or that's, that's what you're going through over these next two weeks, which is really beautiful because you're building to the third and final super new moon on September 28th, which is in the sign of Libra. So really cleaning up and clearing out old stuff because we're getting to the final super new moon, which is super new beginnings, brand new chapters, starting fresh. And if the two of you can start fresh here, that's really powerful and really amazing. Let me see if there's any last message for you. 
But I just want to point out this Three of Swords is in the center of the reading. So it is absolutely important that you deal with past issues in this relationship. Since it is Swords, it can have to do just with your beliefs or things that have been said or your communication style. Whatever that is, really look at how you can mature it. I love it. Amazing. The final message for you is new beginnings. Yay. Just what I was saying, right? You're clearing out the old because you and this person are really moving forward and fresh in a brand new chapter, new beginnings. So take the lessons as they come, Capricorn. Really be open. Really keep your mind you know, open, try not to get caught up into right or wrong or blame or victim or anything that can come with this card here, okay? Because I see positive things and movement forward in this partnership. So I hope this resonates with you. If not, you can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus or your Jupiter. Um, thank you for the comments below the readings. I always love reading all your comments. So thank you for taking the time to do that. Uh, the link is below for personal readings. So just book directly through my website. And again, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all over the place at this point. So um, definitely you can read all the information is on my website and you'll see a really great 15% discount for first time energy clients. So you can absolutely take advantage of that and get 15% off your very first energy session with me. So I think that's it. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of September Capricorn and I will see you back here for the first half of October readings. Take care.